I really don't think he's going for a counter pick. See you, dude. All right, yep. ready to go. Here we go, Honda Kami. Pandora House LPN versus Pandora House Huda Man. This is three this out is of five. Winners finals. Winners finals. Three out of five. We are going to the old temple. They always like to play on the old temple. I hate this level. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like old temple. I it's feel like dark as shit. I feel like I can't there's see anything. there's alternate costumes that camouflage you, and yeah. I hate it. Like Rufus's like ceremony gown. If yeah. you pick a dark color on that, I cannot see Rufus. You know what Krizzle will do? He'll pick Viper, and then he'll go to the train station, the dark train station. Oh. And you can't see her. It's oh, impossible. Geez. And you know, and I called him out on that. I'm like, we're not picking the stage. And he's like, all right, I respect that. That's right. so funny. And you know, there are a few things that you you kind of need to be stubborn with, like stage selection. Sometimes I want to call out every Blanca for using alternate two. Oh, they I should just ban that costume. Yes, I feel like, like all jokes aside, that is an advantaged alternate costume. Nice. Right now, Kuda Man with the lead. Shutting Kami down. And this is gonna be very lame. Yeah. Or I, very quick. There's I mean there's the way that Kami can win this round has to deal with a lot of meter. That he she only had one bar. So I did not see her making that comeback right there. But her strength in this matchup, I feel, is getting the first hit with Roundhouse. Yep. Like, great option select right there. Like, she has oh. some jump in options, but really, when Honda has down charge, down back charge, he's supposed to anti air you if he has charge. Nice focus. And back dashes too, doesn't want to get hit by that pressure. Ludaman playing it very well. Playing very lame, even if he doesn't have the life lead. He's really giving LPN a chance to give it up, and he has. Budiman has the lead now. Wow, being so conservative with the headbutts right now. This is so different. He's and that's what you can do with the round ahead. Oh! Uh, no, you know, it wasn't going to kill. And Kami with one bar, with Honda with no bar, that could just be disastrous. Okay, okay. I see what you're saying. He oh. wants to be sure. And see, now he can... A moment of silence. It's a very nice life lead you have there, Huda Man. It'd be awful if something were to happen to it. And right now, LPN is either going to go for an empty jump or a delayed dive kick to beat that EX headbutt. Yeah, because I don't think he's going to approach on the ground. No. Yep. And one thing that Huda Man can take advantage of is the fact that Long does have that huge preference for trying to enter from the air. Honda has some of the best air-to-air -air normals in the game. So if, if, it over. Yeah, I mean, Long, if he gets too predictable, he can't win this matchup. It has everything to do with getting the life lead first and having a normally defensive character have to come to you. Wow. wow. Making stuff happen with that spiral arrow. Great reaction there. Wow. These DPs are out of control right now. LPN starting some great flaw. I thought that was going to cross up. Ludaman kind of just taking throws right now. LPN mixing it up well. Establishing the throw. Great frame traps. Was that a guaranteed chase down? I think that was Chip. That was Chip. Yeah, that wasn't a guaranteed chase down. And the battle continues. Yeah, there it is. So LPN coming back with a vengeance right there. And it's kind of hard to see what the adjustment was. It's just that LPN got in one of those times. Yep. That in the previous game, Hootaman denied. And Hootaman has yet to show the, the appropriate EX headbutt. Oh, so much damage. Counter hit and vanilla damage. Nice back though. Gets the pressure. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, wow, LPN with a great reaction. If you get air reset out of the hands, you don't get trip guarded on the way down. Mash the reversal. 
Cammy is pretty close to getting into the bar. That was Ultra, but massive, I don't think he had charge. Massive drop from LPN right there. And again, not showing that EX headbutt. Great shimmy into the throw. A reversal headbutt would have been blocked. He's out. Didn't want to punish. I think that Hoodman could have gotten the roundhouse. I think he could have too. He was terrified of a DP. That's what I think just happened right there. Because LPN is the kind of person, that is something you can listen to, by the way. If, if, you're, if you see a fixed point in time coming where it's like, this is when I hit the ground, you can, you can listen for that button and just DP. Yep. I feel like he would be confident in that read. But who, man, didn't go for it. No meter. Extremely hard to anti our Kami's mix up game, but no meter. Trying to, just trying to make space with that headbutt. It goes right in the low. Not blocking. Not blocking low, yeah. And this is only 1-1, one, one, right? This is only 1-1, one, one, yes. And we're doing 3 out of 5, winner's finals. So both players have a lot of time to do some adaptation. I really like that Hoodman staying patient because LPN will come to him. I mean, decent trade, but Honda can't last much longer. Yep, that's it. Hoodman not really blocking those cross-ups for some reason. It's because they're unblockable. They're unblockable? It's I don't think they're unblockable. <laughs> I don't think they're unblockable. No, not, not really. It's just amazing how far behind your head Cammy can be without it crossing up. Oh, that's going to trip guard. Oh, no, he floated over. Good punish by Hootaman. Normally, you want to get the trip guard with that ultra, but Hootaman, perfect spacing, yeah, held I mean, forward, went over the ultra. Great mix up right there. Scooping him up. All right, so we're tied one game, one round apiece. Trying to get the uh, marble situated for you guys. Nice oh, wow. He did that in like a neutral situation. That was great. Oh, wow, that was... It was a little bit too hasty. Yeah, it was interesting that a headbutt even came out and that LPN kind of sniffed it out. Nice, late on the DX headbutt. LPN with a big lead. Burnt the meter, wants to seal it. Great place to lame it out. Only needs one more roundhouse. But goes for a spiral anyways. 2-1. 2-1. Hootaman needs to win two in a row to qualify for Grand Finals. Loser of this is going to play Crack Fiend. Playing Crack Fiend, waiting on deck. Only in a game like Street Fighter, you're going to hear the person say, next person's, person who loses this match is going to play ready? Crack Fiend. Yep. Fight. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I know what you're saying, man. It's that punish. Good luck for Hootaman. Needs to mix that up with uh, jump jab. Were you watching SCR like early pools when this guy was named Coxlap? Really? C O X S L A P. Wow. Or no, there was no S, so it was just. So I, I made a joke. I was like, it's pronounced collab. Is that gonna work? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Recovering for a long time after that uh, butt slam. Oh, and he didn't just DP. And he just wasted the X but I think he tried to ultra right there. LPN. Hootaman Ho started really strong, but LPN looking to 3 0 it. Or 3 1 it. But getting three in a row. Hootaman kind of falling apart right now. Yeah. Falling for too many things. A little too much cami is happening right now. Good block. And you know what, LPN is either hitting him with that jump roundhouse. Oh, wow. Again with that neutral jump. It's always been with the jumping or a spiral arrow. Wow. Great reaction there. Oh, didn't, couldn't get a punish off of it. This is looking pretty hopeless for Hootaman right yeah, now. Yeah, I can't really come back after yeah. that. It's Yeah, everything about the jump in, man. That's what the entire matchup was because Kami's jump roundhouse can hit from so far away. 
Tammy's jump roundhouse can hit from so far away that you can play these air-to-ground footsies, where it's a really difficult normal to anti-air. 